Hi, now we're going to do hydrates. Now, I'm going to give you a description of a hydrate, and honestly, the chemistry is completely wrong. Uh, the chemistry behind hydrates, the water is actually what's called a ligand, and it's a much more complicated type of bond, um, but uh, it's beyond the scope of what you would need for an AP chemistry or a first year general chemistry. This picture, though, that I give you is going to help you work your way through figuring out hydrates. So this is what I want you to imagine. Look at this compound right here. It is copper sulfate, and then it's a hydrate because it's trapped some water, all right? It's actually bonded with ligands, but this is how I want you to think about it. I want you to imagine the salt, that uh, copper two sulfate, as if it's a flower or a cage, okay? And inside of it is trapped water. And again, chemically not right, but I just want to give you this picture to help you figure this out. When you heat this up, is as if the flower opens or the cage opens and the water escapes, all right? The water is gone. Now, when you have the water trapped, is bonded to this copper sulfate, um, that's called a hydrate, it has water in it. When the water is removed, okay? Um, so in essence, when this opens up, the water is removed. The salt that remains, the copper two sulfate, that is called an anhydrous substance. So without water, okay, the water is gone. Uh, so let's say that you have a problem where you ha are challenged to find the number of uh, moles of water that are trapped. And this is a very common uh, lab that you'll have to do. You'll be given a hydrate. You have to wait at the beginning, cook it. At the end, you weigh the anhydrous substance, and then you have to figure out the number of moles of water. So very common um, in chemistry, especially in first year chemistry. So we're going to do this as if it is um, a lab. Let's say that you have this copper sulfate, copper two sulfate, unknown amount of water molecules, a hydrate, that's all we know, and you weigh out 1.023 grams, great. You cook it, all of the water escapes, it's evaporated, it is completely gone, and what's left is the anhydrous copper two sulfate. Um, it changes from a blue color to a white color. You weigh that and it weighs 0.654 grams. Now, if you subtract the amount you began with, copper two sulfate hydrate, from the anhydrous copper two sulfate, the difference is the water, the water that escaped, that's gone. Now to find this, okay, now this is the cool, what I think chemistry part of this, is really just empirical formula. Check it out, one mole of copper two sulfate traps a certain number of moles of water. That's a molar ratio, a one to something ratio. So in empirical formula, we do the molar ratio of elements in a compound. Now we're going to do an empirical formula, the same process, for the molar ratio of compounds. So you can see how I've set it up. I took the 0.65 grams of copper two sulfate and the 0.369 grams of water. We're going to convert this to moles and then put it in the smallest whole number ratio and bam, we'll find out what the hydrate is exactly. So grams to moles, bring it to moles. I say that over and over, bring this to moles and you get 0 0.00410 moles of copper two sulfate. You take the 0.369 grams of water, convert that using molar mass to moles, you get 0 0.020. Now there's your molar ratios but they're not whole numbers, it's kind of a mess. Our trick to get the smallest whole number, you just divide by the smallest mole, which is 0 0.0041, so divide, divide, and check it out. One mole of copper two sulfate oh, traps five moles of water. There is your X. That is the amount of moles in that hydrate. And that would be called copper two sulfate pentahydrate. Copper two sulfate pentahydrate. Now just as um, for argument, in case you had questions, I wrote over here how to add up the molar mass of the copper two sulfate. I had one copper, one sulfur, four oxygens, put the molar masses multiplied, added, got 159.62. That's where that molar mass came from. And then water, you probably have memorized. Two hydrogens, one oxygen, multiplied, added, it's 18.02. Now, talking about hydrates, 
Um, that dot right there just indicates to you and I that it's a hydrate. It doesn't mean multiply. If you were to find the molar mass of that entire hydrate, this is the easiest way to do it. You take the molar mass of water, 18.02. You have five waters. So multiply 18.02 times five. Then you find the molar mass of copper sulfate and simply add those two together and it will give you the molar mass of that hydrate. The way you say this, you always state the salt just like you would in any ionic compound. This is um, copper, which is a transition metal, so I have to use the stock system, say the Roman numeral. So this is copper to sulfate, and then you use a Greek prefix for the moles of water, and instead of saying water, you replace that with the word hydrate. So listen to what this is. Copper to sulfate, pentahydrate, and that's the compound. Great, thank you.